Hi everyone, this is LAR Games, and uh, I'm back here in the Fortress of Millipede because I'm going to continue the story. <laughs> yep, the Fortress of Millipede. Alright, so where am I supposed to go now? Even lower. <clears throat> oh, we can descend deeper. So this is where they're made. Okay. Hello, sir. Ah, you must be the catch of the day. Looks like you've got some luck getting assigned this space. Yep, we just arrived yesterday and... Don't interrupt me when I'm speaking. Yeah, he's one of those. Listen carefully to my instructions. I don't want any mishaps. Every machine here is worth more than the both of you. I very much doubt that. Working around these machines can be very dangerous. Do your job well, and you can eat in the cafeteria after your shift. Get sloppy, and you dine in the infirmary. Anyway, the Fortress of Merope doesn't want to lose a single one of its machines. And it also doesn't want to waste the production potential of any inmate. You got that? Your job is to use the machine over there to process widgets. Watch carefully, and make sure you step on the pedal at the right time. If the machine gets jammed, then give it a little maintenance with your fist. Here, take this. Bring me the process widgets, and I'll give you some credit coupons in exchange. <laughs> with a sword? I mean, of course it's gonna Once get stuck. Once the widget is hot enough to blow, jump to step on the pedal and hit the widget. So if the machine gets jammed, you just need to attack it to fix the problem. That's the silliest machine I've ever seen. <laughs> People are just jumping all over the place here, apparently. Oh. Nobody's actually working on anything except for me. Because they would have had to make those animations for the NPCs, and that would have been cool. Huh. This one is... tolerable. Though, since the processing is done by machine, the product is all pretty much the same anyway. All right, I'll pass you for now. And we'll count up how many credit coupons you've earned. <sighs> I'm exhausted. We're done now, right? Oh, that foreman. He's so scary that Paimon couldn't even speak. Ugh. Even though Paimon's starving and 
wants to head straight to the coupon cafeteria. We still need to meet Lenny first, right? He probably just finished up his work, too. He should be around here somewhere. It's kind of funny to imagine Lenny? him doing... Mr. Magician? ...construction work in that Where outfit. Are you? Oh, this better not be some disappearing act. Around here. Let's try looking somewhere else. Straight up. Here. Oh, that's new. Ah! Oh, you scared Paimon! How'd you appear out of nowhere like that? Oh, you scare so easily now? Is there something worrying you these days? Oh, you little... The only thing we're worried about <clears throat> is trying to find you! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Come over here and keep it down. really are inseparable. That's right. My brother simply can't stand to be away from me. Uh, it's not just Lynette. Fremenet is also here. Do you still remember him? Nope. Who's that? In the story, we've only seen them basically once. <clears throat> oh! You mean that diver from the House <laughs> of the Hearth, right? I don't remember seeing him in the Court of Fontaine before. Now hurry up and tell us! How did you end up as criminals this time? We fought so hard at court to prove you were innocent, but now it looks like our incredible court battle was for nothing! Sadly, even the teeniest of things can land you in prison these days. I put together a street performance and used the popularity we gained from the Opera House incident to attract a big crowd. And then? Next, I invited several audience members to participate in the show. And then, with the entire audience watching, their wallet suddenly disappeared. Basically, you're telling us you intended to come here. My brother was charged with theft, and I was charged as his accomplice, having assisted him in his crime. <sighs> it really isn't that bad. The missing wallets are all in the leftmost drawer of the Maison Guardianage's big filing cabinet. We just need to see how long it takes to discover them. Yep, we should be released then. In terms of the magic trick itself, I think the performance went perfectly. <sighs> to magic himself into prison. Indeed. Last time I hid my identity from you, I promised that I'd tell you absolutely everything if you were angry about it. <clears throat> no more secrets. So I don't plan on keeping anything from you this time either. At the moment, the House of the Hearth's interests don't conflict with yours at all. We were instructed by the father of our house, the Knave, to come here and conduct an investigation. <gasps> Told you so! See? Paimon guessed right! As for what we're investigating, perhaps you haven't heard, but the Fortress of Meropede hides a secret. Some even say that the entire fortress exists just to protect it. The House of the Hearth has been investigating this for a very long time, trying to uncover its mysteries. But recently, all of our informants, including the ones that had infiltrated the guards, suddenly vanished and have not been heard from since. Well, that's good. We believe that this is a direct provocation, and it's the reason why we came here. Father has somehow managed to confirm that Fossilors does not have Fontaine's Gnosis. What? Is that why she's so weak, probably? Huh? How did she manage to learn information that important? That would mean that she's not actually the Archon. Father has her ways. Many of them are beyond our imagination, and we've never had the chance to see her at work. But we trust her conclusions. It was this information that led us to suspect that Fontaine's Gnosis might be in the Fortress of Meripede and is related to that secret. So it's all about the Gnosis again. Well, that's about it from our side. 
How about you two? Did Monsieur Nervilette send you here? You're saying Nervilette too? Why? Why Nervilette? I don't understand. Did they have it written like differently in the script or something? Bingo! Nerva's has been applying a lot of pressure. She wants to know what happened to Child, so we came here to investigate. Uh, Traveler, are we allowed to tell them? <laughs> You've already said everything. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to worry too much about that. She's just asking for a report on Master Child's predicament as a means of pressuring you. Father used the situation as a pretext to negotiate with two high-ranking officials in the court of Fontaine. She actually just wants to be able to make concessions on this matter for gains elsewhere, almost like a bargaining chip. Sometimes you need an excuse to do things you otherwise couldn't. And a harbinger is more valuable than you might imagine. Of course, it's not a complete farce. If we do manage to find out what happened to Master Child too, then diplomatic relations with Fontaine could improve, and Snezhnaya might even be able to adjust its stance a bit. Is it just Paimon, or does it feel like we're the only ones who actually care about Child's situation? The relationship between the Harbingers must be as bad as ever. Yeah. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Father just has different standards than we do when it comes to what can be sacrificed for an advantage. Uh, by the way, I have a suggestion. Why don't we team up? Even though we have different objectives, we're both here to investigate the Fortress of Meripede. It would be more efficient for us to work together. As you know, the House of the Hearth has many reasons to seek the Gnosis, but our highest priority remains resolving the prophesized crisis. You can trust us on that. Mm, see, I told you. Is that so? Hmm. Sure enough, it won't be easy to convince them to cooperate with us. Well, I wouldn't mind cooperating with you, but, you know, it's the House of the Hearth I'm not entirely convinced on. Lenny seems to be thinking pretty hard about something. Of course he is. Lenny has been looking forward to a chance to reach an understanding with you ever since last we met. Or, I should say... We were really looking forward to teaming up with you this time. Lynette, just tell them everything, why don't you? It's okay to open up a little. <laughs> Very prudent of you, and consistent with your behavior since we first met. That's reasonable enough, and I agreed to cooperate on these terms as well. I was prepared for the worst, but you were actually more agreeable than I anticipated. Mm. All right, then. There's no time to lose. I have some information to share, so listen carefully. Maybe people might actually have, like, have uh, some... Like, it might actually be reasonable to think that Linny's story quest takes place after this, even though that's not something that usually happens. You know, them releasing a story bit that comes after a story bit that they haven't released yet. That's really odd. Since Lynette and I arrived here, our investigation uncovered the fact that the Fortress of Meripede has a forbidden zone. Most people just clammed up and wouldn't talk, but <clears throat> after asking the right questions, we were able to confirm the existence of the forbidden zone from the guards. You should be aware of that while you're investigating. A forbidden zone? Oh, could that be where the child disappeared to? You're right, we'll definitely keep that in mind. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe the reason that it could have been released early is just because they wanted to have a five star out. And he was the closest one story wise that could be released. And since he was released, you need to have a story quest to go along with him. So obviously they released the story quest too, even though it's not supposed to happen in the story yet. <coughs> Good. That's the most suspicious thing about the fortress that we know of so far. We have a few other unanswered questions, and we'll be investigating those as quickly as we can. Anyway, I hope you find our information useful at least. Oh, look at the time. You two must be hungry. You should go to the coupon cafeteria and get something to eat. I'll use my cards to get in touch with you again in the future. Oh, that's just what Paimon wanted to hear. Paimon's starving after all that work today. We can talk more about the investigation.
investigation later. Let's go get some grub! So we can go further down. Oh, we were down and then we went up one level. Okay. Let's move out. Just not do that now that I think about it. Let's move out. Come on. No, I didn't make it. Oh, he wasn't kidding. Today's meal is nowhere near as good as last time. It'll be until we're lucky enough to get that super tasty meal again. <coughs> ah, forget about it then. We'll just deal with the regular food for the time being. Let's just get out of here as soon as possible. But life here doesn't seem all that bad. Other than the foreman being kind of mean and the work being pretty tiring. Yeah, you gotta jump a lot for some reason. You think so, mate? <laughs> if I had a coupon for every fish who said that. Seems you fishies still haven't learned your lessons from your life up on the surface. If you take things at face value, then by the time you reach a dead end, you won't even know how you ended up on that road in the first place. Old timer. <laughs> I like your attitude. I can, uh, let you in on a little something. We shouldn't ever call anyone old. <laughs> Everyone's been telling you to just follow the rules and not cause any trouble for yourself. Am I right? But what they don't tell you is that the rules aren't exactly what they pretend to be. The rules for being a prisoner. The truth is, this place has a lot of hidden rules. Hey, that line was in the trailer. Huh? <coughs> hidden rules? Not everyone knows about those rules, but whether you know them or not, once you break one, you might encounter something even worse than death. Really? Oh, now you're really scaring poor Paimon. Don't you around. Of course. And I'd say that just disappearing would be one of the better outcomes. Oh, you mean that if there really are hidden rules, then Child's disappearance might have something to do with it? Uh, in that case, would you tell us some hidden rules? We definitely want to avoid breaking them. <laughs> Come on, mate. This is valuable information. The difference between life and death. Do you really think you can just ask and I would tell you? All right, bye then. Paimon understands, but we don't have many credit coupons yet. Yeah, yeah, I know. Not like I'm going anywhere. Just come talk to me after you've saved enough. Moreover, your new fish, freshly caught and completely out of your element. What'd be the point in even telling you anything before you've gotten a handle on your new lives? Come and find me once you've been here longer. I'm usually around the rag and bone shop. Just call me V-Doc. Bye-bye now. No, oh, I love the Halo ones. Those are great. <coughs> he left. Just like that. Huh. Do you think he's just trying to scare us into buying fake information from him? Yeah. It might be a good place to start in our investigation. Hidden rules, huh? But, like he said, we don't have any coupons and we're still not familiar with this place. Oh, there's nothing we can do about it now. Ah, we were so busy talking, we almost forgot to eat. Even if it's not the best, it's probably better while it's warm. Come on, dig in before it gets cold. Hmm. 
Mona's sprint has never stopped being useful. <coughs> so Paima just confirmed with the guards that our shift is set for every morning, and we're free to do whatever we want all afternoon. But it seems like most of the other inmates choose to continue working through the afternoon to earn more credit coupons. Oh, and they also said that you can use coupons to skip work in the morning and free up your time. They weren't kidding. Credit coupons really can be used to do anything here. Ah, Paimon's so tired. And we'll need to wake up and go to work in the morning. Without any credit coupons, it's not like we can really do anything else. Hmm. Nighty night, Traveler. Paimon hopes we can keep making progress on our investigation tomorrow. Oh. Oh, what's this? Interesting. <clears throat> we have child's vision, right? I think. This is interesting. So because we have his vision, we're seeing things through his eyes? Is that what's going on? He's, yeah, he's not going to be able to resist that. <coughs> also, suddenly appearing and appearing and disappearing. And oh, okay. So this is intentional. That was pretty cool. Are you awake, Traveler? Hmm? What's wrong? You seem to have something on your mind. Did you dream about something last night? Is that even possible? Unless... It wasn't an ordinary dream? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was his vision. Oh, <gasps> child's vision! So you had it with you this whole time? Maybe the vision connected child's consciousness to yours! Man, I can even use visions. I'm so cool. <laughs> and our investigation has its first major breakthrough! Good thing you brought the vision with you here. So what did you see in the dream? Do you know where child went? Huh. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit more helpful in the future. Snezhnaya visions are pretty pointy. What's more important now is that it's the start of another new day as prisoners! Let's do our best to earn more credit coupons! What's the plan for today? How many coupons do we have? No, let's just get let's more. Let's go! It's time to start working. If that guard fielding catches us skulking about, he's sure to give us an earful. <coughs> Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a-wasting. Good, here you go. Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing it. I think we've got to do this at least once more. Otherwise, I weren't made a mechanic for it. That's what I was about to say earlier. It's not like Paimon's actually going to do any work. Hey there, fellow shift mates. I saw you finished your work, so I thought I'd come over and say hi. Hey there, fellow kids. Oh, hey there. We've seen you before. Your assigned workspace is really close, 
isn't it? <laughs> That's right. The name's Rowan. This past few days, I couldn't help but notice the new faces working nearby. I guess we were destined to meet. I've been working here for almost 15 years. Even the foreman Grainville always calls me Chief. Whoa, you've been working here a long time, Chief. Wow, that would be mean to say. <laughs> <clears throat> if there's anything you'd like to know, just ask me. I know the work here in the production zone better than the back of my hand. All right, Chief. We'll be sure to come to you first. <clears throat> Did you just ask about the rules? <laughs> Pretty sharp for newcomers. You've already heard about the rules, huh? Who'd you hear it from? Hmm. All right. Seeing as I'm the one who came over here, you're already calling me Chief. I guess I can tell you a little. Truth is, you two keep working like this, you might be putting yourselves in danger. Huh? Wait, there's even a rule about that? What would have happened if you never told us about this? Well, it's usually not that easy to break one on accident. The conditions of the hidden rules are usually pretty specific. But once you do break one, bad things happen. If you work continuously in the production zone for three days, and if all you do besides eating and sleeping is just work, then something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. Huh? Like what? Oh, don't scare Paimon! Alright, let's do it. Also, that line was also from the trailer. <laughs> if I knew that, then I wouldn't be standing here talking to you, now would I? You mean, <clears throat> even you have never tried working three days like that before? There's actually a legend about this rule. They say that there was a worker who worked way harder than me. He was both efficient and eager on the job, and most other workers couldn't hold a candle to him. One time, he tried to test his limits and worked as long as he could. Then during lunch on the third day, he disappeared into thin air, as if he'd evaporated. Later, some people went and asked some of his past friends about him, but they said, never heard of the guy. What the? How could that happen? Unfortunately, we were assigned different production zones. I never saw for myself what he looked like. Wait, are you thinking that it was... Huh? Oh? You... <sighs> Listen, kid. This ain't the kind of thing you should be curious about. Let me tell you, you're better off forgetting about it and looking after yourself. Now I kind of regret ever telling you. Yeah, I agree with Chief here. Do you really want to try? Yeah. <sighs> All right, if you insist. Whoa! Isn't this the super lucky meal? Looks like hard work really does get rewarded. Paimon's gonna take her time and save her every bite. What would you like to do this afternoon? Yeah, let's go here. Sure! If we're not <coughs> going to work, then let's kill some time at the Pancration Ring. Let's go to the Plankton Ring. Stop them from getting the Krabby Patty secret formula. Some of these walkways are not very Mona friendly. <clears throat> Must be the traveler, huh? Sorry, mate, but uh, competitors as strong as you no. are prohibited from participating. How do you make know? The rules, mind you, but I was given very specific instructions. How do you know I was so strong? Who told you? Even convicts value their lives, don't they? I hope you can understand. <laughs> no, I wanted to beat some people up. But we have a game here that'll let you show off your strength, and you'll even earn some credit coupons in the process. What do you think? Interested? Sure. And if we lose the 
game, will it cost us credit coupons? Of course. That's the cruel reality facing every competitor in a place like the Pancration Ring. Okay, great. Let me walk you through the rules. The targets in front of you will pop up one after another. Oh, no. You'll need to hit the targets in the same order that they popped oh, up. Oh, that's not a, a show of strength. A that's a memory a game. With no mistakes, <clears throat> then you'll win credit coupons. But the second you mess up the order, you lose. Game over. You said this was about showing your strength, not about your memory skills. Short-term memory is not the same as strength. <laughs> what is this? The game costs 300 credit coupons to have it go. So, you up for it? Great, I have to do it. Well, time to lose some credit coupons. Thanks for your patronage, uh, mate. Now, let the game begin. My short-term memory is awful. Should I just fail immediately or should I actually try? Alright. I'll try. Okay, do your best to hit the targets, just like Colin said. It's only three at a time. Okay, that's not that bad. Thought it was gonna be like seven in a row or something. Not bad. Not bad at all. Here, the coupons you won. Be sure not to lose them. <clears throat> There's not a test of strength. I hope you know that. Time to go to work. Let's go! Credit coupons, here we come! Good, I don't have to go there. Look who decided to show up! Get your butts in gear and get to work! Time's a wasting. Oh? What's with suddenly wanting to work so hard? You need coupons that badly? Sure. Let's just say we really want to test our limits. You mean I want to test my limits, Paimon? What it's not showing is the traveler jumping up and down like a maniac. Nice! We did well today. <laughs> Could have like not. I don't know what you're doing to get tired, Paimon. To be honest. <clears throat> oh, Paimon's exhausted. It's just work, work, and more work. Paimon's little body can't handle this much longer. Imagine three days of work being considered a lot. <laughs> Wait a sec. Now that Paimon thinks about it, haven't we been 
working non-stop for three days now? And now it's lunchtime! Oh, Paimon feels a shiver going down her spine. What's going to happen? But it doesn't seem like anything's changed at all. And we made it to the coupon cafeteria safely. Are the so-called hidden rules only a rumor after all? Well, there's no use to just guessing all day. Paimon's stomach has been grumbling the whole time. Let's just eat already! Paimon wonders what we'll get today. Maybe we'll get the super lucky meal. Wait! What? And what is this? Well, what in the world is this? What's with Paimon's <clears throat> food? And yours is the same! Is this stuff... meat? But it looks and feels so bizarre! What kind of chef would make food like this? What do you think is going on? Is this the bad thing that Rowan was talking about? But it's purple, so it can't be people. No, stop right there. Paimon gets what you mean, just don't say it. Hey, isn't that Woolsey over there? He must have made the food, right? So let's just ask him about the food and be done with it. Hey, Woolsey, have a moment? Hmm? What is it? I'm about to go report the numbers for today's free meal, so you'd better make it quick. Uh, it's about the meat in our meals. Look! Normal to you? The meat? Oh, that. Looks perfectly fine to me. Totally normal. You better hurry up and shout out. Uh, how could this be fine? Hey, don't leave! You barely even look at it! Hey! <laughs> Ugh. What should we do now? Wolsey wouldn't even give us the time of day. <sighs> Is he trying to hide something? I mean, the mushrooms look fine. We could eat those. Looks like we have no other choice. Paima was positively famished a minute ago, but now she's lost her appetite. But we could buy some more food. We have enough credit coupons. Don't tell me it's made of melusines. What would you like to do this afternoon? Okay, let's see if we can find any new leads. <coughs> Oh, he hello. You two are the ones who were with His Grace. No need to be so nervous. Sorry, I couldn't help but think of His Grace once I saw you, and I... Uh, oh, it's hard to say. Maybe I am. He's got a very overwhelming presence. It makes me feel like I'm just some insignificant little bug. Wait, seriously? Oh, I'm always indecisive, and I tend to make a mess of things. It's like a reflex. I just instantly start to tense up the moment I see a smart and capable person like His Grace. What? F please, don't say anything like that out loud. How could you possibly think something like that? Well, I don't know what the point of that was. Uh, there's one below and one above. Well, the one above is easier, to be honest. It's more like swim around and look for clues, am I right? Ha <laughs> ha ha ha. I was injured a bit just now. Nothing major, I think I just pulled something. Little mishaps like this are unavoidable at work, you know? Huh. Paima wouldn't have thought someone as experienced as the Chief would still get hurt on the job. I just knew you would say that. This is pretty embarrassing. Uh, 
Where's Siegeween when you need her anyway? The one time I need to make a quick trip to the infirmary. Oh, you mean she wasn't in the infirmary? Oh no. They chopped her up and fed her to us. Yeah. The rumors say that there's never anybody in the infirmary in the half hour before lunch. And nobody knows where Siegewing gets off to. Huh. That's actually really strange. Siegewing's always super dedicated to her work. Where else would she possibly go? <sighs> Forget it. <clears throat> I can take care of a small sprain like this on my own anyway. No need to trouble her. Oh, wonderful. I was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn reward coupons all the time, but it seems like you haven't neglected your investigation work after all. Paimon likes having more coupons, but no one wants to work all the time. Have you also been investigating the area, Lynette? No, nope, I was just slacking off, and you happened to catch me. Wanna slack off together? My brother is still obsessed with anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone. But knowing him, it won't be long before we get more leads. Oh, before I forget, this is for you. Huh? Credit coupons? Why are you giving us these? I've been here longer than you. Coupons aren't a resource in particularly short supply. What is in short supply are interesting people to talk with. Aw, that's so nice of you, Lynette. We'll be sure to make good use of these coupons then. Thanks a bunch! Looks like a research notebook. That suspicious guy peeking into the infirmary just now. Are they a fan of Siegeween? He must have dropped this. Let Paimon read it real quick. The Melisi perceive the world very differently from humans. There are significant deviations. Is it that researcher guy that got sent here? As a result, their sense of aesthetics and beauty is also very different from that of humans. This must be taken into consideration when giving gifts. Whoa, this all sounds pretty serious. He sure did his homework. And as for the notebook, let's take it. If only I could just go down through all of the, uh, the floors this way. Teleport point down here. Like, where's that one? Hmm. The Traveler and Paimon. <laughs> no need to tease me, okay? I won't trip on the same step twice. Listen, I feel ashamed about last time. Thank you for praising me in front of his grace. Here are the extra credit coupons he gave me. I'd like you to have them. Huh? No, we couldn't take them. They're your reward after all. 
But when I was welcoming you, I didn't do anything but give you the stink eye. <sighs> Come on, I insist. These coupons are nothing compared to getting the attention of His Grace. I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> yeah, I have free coupons, I guess. Oh, well, let's see if there's a teleport point around here. That would be nice. Where's been bothering me? Let's just do that. What? There we go. Oh, there's the thing. Seedwing? Aren't you supposed to be in the infirmary? What are you doing in the production zone? Hello, traveler. Paimon? Everyone's usually busy around now, and we don't have any patients to look after in the infirmary. I thought I'd come here and enjoy the sight of everyone hard at work. Enjoy? Oh, uh, what's there to enjoy here? It's really worth watching. I often stand here and observe everyone. Humans are just so interesting and adorable. I like to watch your expressions while you work. Uh, are you talking about pets or people? Oh, I can see why you think that, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. See, we Melazines are a different species, and we see the world very differently from humans. It's very easy for me to observe everyone's condition. All it takes is one look, and I can tell which workers are exhausted. Wait! Melazines can see that? Huh. That does sound useful for being a nurse. <sighs> yes. Running around tending to everyone's health is very fulfilling. But I'd much prefer it if you're all happy and free from exhaustion and pain in the first place. Take care of your body and make sure you eat well. Always rest when you're tired from work and don't push yourself too hard. We'll definitely take care of ourselves. Thanks for the reminder. This place has better working conditions than most other places. Uh, uh. What? Back up. Hmm. Oh, we can go further down. I'll leave that for another time, I guess. <laughs> We'll see what happens. Nothing bad happened in, during lunch, though, except for something weird. So after weird. working a few days straight, we got some strange meat in our lunch. What was that all about? Hmm. Has our investigation turned up anything useful recently? Really? <sighs> then it looks like that part of the investigation has hit a dead end. Well, we'll keep searching for more clues tomorrow. Good night, traveler. Oh, Paimon doesn't want to get up. Paimon still feels completely exhausted from yesterday. What do you have planned for us? We already did that. After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. How are you holding up? Yeah, it's good. 
good to kick back and relax once in a while. More meat? Oh, just a regular meal set. Guess Paimon shouldn't get her hopes up. What would you like to do this afternoon? Sure! If we're not going to work, then let's kill some time at the pancreation ring! Alright, time to meet Plankton again. Oh, back for another try? I hope you brought enough credit coupons this time. Alright, then get ready to play. Oh, I forgot we were gonna do this again. Boy. This is not that hard. Okay, do your best to hit the targets, just like Colin said! Your strength really shouldn't be underestimated. Memory. Now mean. I get why you're prohibited from participating in any official fights. Nobody who values their life would be willing <laughs> to get in the ring with you. It was just hitting the things in order. How is that? Whatever. However, you two haven't tried betting on the outcome of a Pancration match yet, have you? Just go talk to Rusimov. Buy a ticket for whichever fighter you think will win. There's a big payout if the fighter you support comes out on top. No. But we don't know anything about the fighters. How can we possibly know who to support? That's normal. Just watch a few matches and get a feel for the fighters. It won't be long before you can pick winners in your sleep. He's got a point. Why don't we give it a try? If we have enough coupons, we could probably bet at random until we figure everything out. Huh. Bet at random, huh? Uh, well, how should I put it? Uh, it's not like you can't do that, but I'd advise you to give it some more thought first. No, oh, you're not gonna finish the rest of your line? Okay. Huh? We shouldn't get too carried away. What's the problem? What? I... <sighs> Never even picked a boxer before, and you already know about the rules? <sighs> you're not just strong fighters. Seems you're pretty perceptive, too. <sighs> Might as well tell you about it, since you already know that much. Plus, I think you've got the potential to be one of my greatest customers. I think I can let you in a bit. Besides, I don't want to risk ever losing a customer like you. Uh, is it that serious? Okay. The hidden rule here is, if you buy both boxers' tickets and support them both, something bad will happen the next morning. Uh, it's probably going to be just as mild as getting weird meat. So the rule is that we shouldn't pick both boxers in the same fight. But if anyone actually did that, wouldn't they be guaranteed to lose coupons? Who would do that anyway? And what do you mean by something bad will happen? How would I know? Not like I'm stupid enough to do that. But I've heard a story about the rule. According to the rumor, there was a masked boxer who possessed incredible skill and power. None of his opponents even stood a chance against him. However, in the final match, the organizers told him to take off his mask. He refused and never showed up to the fight. People have a lot of freedom in here for a prison. And after that, he was never seen again. Some say he died, or that he was taken care of by the <clears throat> event's organizers. But everyone remembers that he was someone who cherished honor above all else. In his eyes, supporting both boxers in a match would dishonor the competition itself. So you mean, it's like, a curse? He'll take vengeance on anyone who does that? No, he was always wearing a mask, like he was intentionally trying to hide his identity. I don't even know anything about his past. Traveler, do you think that boxer was... Maybe. We will? You should know the pattern by now, Paimon. You're not serious, are you? 
Look, here I was just trying to be nice and warn you, yet here you are trying to break it on purpose? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds pretty scary to Paimon. Uh, seems you've made up your mind. Just be sure to protect Paimon, okay? Uh. Betting on both fighters will set you back about 3,000 credit coupons. If you have enough, then go ahead and give it a try. Just don't come running back to me if something happens. Do I have enough? Seems we had a productive day. Hope we can make even more progress tomorrow. Oh, Paimon doesn't want to get up. Paimon still feels completely exhausted from yesterday. What do you have planned for us? Plankton ring, baby. Mm, might as well. After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang. But doing the same thing all the time can get old. Yeah. Speaking of, I really need to what make some you breakfast. Like to do this afternoon? You. Maybe we'll be able to find some leads there. I'm so glad I don't have to actually go to these locations each time. Mm. That would suck. Are you two here to buy tickets? Better be quick about it. Another match is about to start. Who are the boxers in the next round? Doesn't matter, Paimon. We're doing both. We have the reigning champ, Le Grappler, versus a contender from the eastern prison block, Demon Horde. Are those their nicknames, or did they choose those names themselves? Either way, super weird. Uh, since you're new around here, I'll help you out and give you a little suggestion. Even though Le Grappler is the crowd favorite, Demon Horde is a first-class dark horse with incredible potential. Anyway, this match, I recommend that you pick... I'll tell you to pick Cusco, you know, so he doesn't get poisoned with the poison that's meant for Cusco. <laughs> huh? F for both fighters? Uh, I could tell you're new to this, but I didn't think you were completely clueless. Maybe you don't quite understand the rules, no? Let me try to explain again for you more clearly. You see... All right, Peter. Oh, no need, no need. <laughs> um... <laughs> we're aware that we're going to lose coupons. All right, then, if you're absolutely sure. Remember, no refunds once you buy the tickets. Is that actually, like, it sounds so close to that voice actor. Yeah, yeah, we got it. I think uh, Patrick, Patrick Warburton is his name. Yeah, he sounds a lot like him. <laughs> chance to sleep in as long as we're here. Let's get to bed early. Yep, here we go. Something's happening. Hey, Traveler. Paimon. Package here for you. That's an interesting looking weapon. The next time you buy something, go pick it up yourself. I'm not a delivery man, you know. I don't like the huh? idea of people coming into my room Package. while I'm sleeping. For us? Did you buy something, Traveler? <laughs> ah, Paimon's not quite awake yet, so why don't you go take a look? Alright! Is it more meat? Yesterday we broke the hidden rule and bought tickets for both boxers. Oh, maybe this package is the bad thing that Colin said would happen. Huh? Paimon suddenly feels wide awake. Wait, maybe let Paimon go hide somewhere first. Just call Paimon after you open. 
opened it. It's not like an explosion would hurt me much, to be honest. I've been hit by, like, an actual god, so, you know. Hey, wait, wait! Pilot's still here! Don't open it! Ah! Huh? What is it? Are you okay? Uh, let Paimon take a peek, too. Oh, it's just a small bottle. But the color of the liquid inside looks so wrong. Almost like... Alright, that's enough of that. No need to say it out loud. Paimon already knows what you're trying to say. <laughs> you are hungry, usually. Ooh, no way! Get that stuff away from Paimon! I'm doing a lot more interesting things with the animations nowadays. I appreciate that. shouldn't open the bottle until we figured out what's going on. Just trust Paimon in this one, okay? So I guess we're gonna have to break all the hidden rules. I wonder how many we have left. What do you have planned for us? Yes. Oh, alright. Though it feels nice to slack off a little, less work means less coupons. Let's make the most of our morning. Okay, okay. Breathtaking. <sighs> if there's no way to send it all out, then maybe I'll never get a chance to leave. And you don't look like a fellow convict. Uh, I, I'm not. Of course I'm not. Please, don't mistake me for a criminal. I'm a good, law-abiding citizen. To be honest, there's not much difference. It's not like we've seen any actual horrible people here yet. <laughs> then what are you doing here? You sure seem anxious about something. I'm a promoter for Fontico, and I'm usually responsible for promoting our drink products. I thought I could complete my task here quickly and return to headquarters, but I've been here way longer than I anticipated. Wait a minute, I thought only prisoners and guards are allowed in here. Oh, a promoter from Fontico? So what kind of problem did you run into? Ugh, I'm so upset. It's all because of that duke. After discussing the company's promotional plans with him, he told me outright that my project was worthless. However, in light of our long history of successful collaboration, I still tried to patiently explain the details. However, to my surprise, he just cut me off while I was speaking. <clears throat> Let me take a moment and recall his exact words. I'm just going to stop you there and say no. If anything, I'm saving you time. It seems you don't fully understand the value of credit coupons here, nor do you understand the value of your own products. The former is because you are from the overworld. That's understandable, and I don't blame you for that. But as for the latter, only someone monumentally stupid, so breathtakingly stupid that they were completely ignorant of the value of credit coupons, despite living in the underworld, would ever possibly consider buying your drink. Let's just forget it. <sighs> Anyway, that's how he rejected my proposal and asked me to come up with another solution with the condition that it doesn't cause any trouble for him. Can you believe that guy? Uh, well, he is the head honcho here. Not much you can do about that. We met him too and could tell that he's the kind of guy that's hard to pin down. Fine, fine. I know I should just let it go. I'm on his turf after all. His house, his rules. Surprise font is still being sold.
I heard you crazy fools really did it. You bought tickets to support both fighters, didn't you? Well, I, did anything happen? Well, the next day we received a mysterious package, but we still haven't made any sense of the contents. So it is real. You didn't become cursed or anything like that, did you? Are you both still okay? Wait, are you sure that it's still you controlling your bodies right now? Paimon's not sure. Pretty superstitious what people here. What do you here. think, Traveler? Is Paimon still Paimon? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Hmm. Yeah, you two don't seem to have changed at all. But I wouldn't let your guard down just yet. Still, I didn't expect you would actually do it. You'd actually throw away coupons like that just to satisfy your curiosity? Even if we bought tickets like everybody else, it's not like we could hope to earn any coupons. When it comes to things like this, it's always the organizer who makes the real profits. Hey, just what are you trying to imply? The Pancration Ring is an honest business, and we really don't make much from selling tickets. We make so little that even the current tournaments can only be held thanks to funding from the producer of Fanta. That is random. Oh, so it's the company that manufactures Fanta sponsoring the events? Paimon thought all of this was thanks to the Duke's support. Let's just say it's a mutually beneficial arrangement. They reached out to us first, hoping to promote Fanta products in the forges of Meropede. But the only resource here, like the only currency, is credit coupons. They'd be useless in the overworld. So why would they want to sell anything here and gain credit coupons? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, anyway, you try and take extra good care of yourselves these next few days, you hear? Like, why would they want to acquire a currency that's only useful down here? That makes no sense. Hey, what are these papers scattered all over the ground? Hmm, maybe not. Every page has the Fontico symbol on it. Maybe it's some flyers from the company. Uh, okay. But if someone catches us, they could accuse us of trying to steal the company's secrets, couldn't they? Oh, <laughs> you're right. Guess there's nothing to worry about then. Let Paimon have a look here. Without assistance from the Fontaine Research Institute, development of the new product has been slow, and some researchers on the project have voiced concerns. Interesting, okay. Another reason they would want to do that is to test out any product on prisoners. That, I can imagine, would be a reason for the, the Fanta company to want to distribute things down here. We have no choice but to let the new product undergo the first phase of promotional trials without a designated name or packaging. We will adjust the direction of future development according to feedback. We have decided to only conduct closed, small-scale trials for the time being. Sure doesn't seem like anything unusual. The company is just trying to develop some new products besides Fanta. But it sounds like things aren't going well at all. Uh, let's put these papers back where we found them and make it look like nobody went through them. Okay, good. Well, it just seems like a mess of papers anyway on the floor, so I don't think it matters too much. Show me what you got. Can I do this? Ooh, I can. Huh. We ended up here without even thinking about it. Want to grab something to eat? All right. But remember that we bought this time with coupons, so let's make better use of it next time. Just a regular meal set. Guess Paimon shouldn't get her hopes up. What would you like to do this afternoon? Sure.
sure. After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. But doing the same thing all the time can get... Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax once in a while. I hope I don't get to the point where I don't know what to do. That would be really annoying. A mysterious box? A bottle of crimson liquid? Paimon oh, still doesn't know what to make of it. Do you have any ideas, Traveler? Really? Oh, then it looks like that part of the investigation led us nowhere. Well, maybe we'll have better luck tomorrow. Good night, Traveler. Okay. okay, so we've investigated two of the hidden rules. <sighs> How many didn't are there? This prison would have so many weird things going on. We'd better pick up the pace with our investigation, otherwise, we'll never get anywhere. Yeah, let's skip work for now. Okay. Ah, seeing you at this time must mean you've already saved up a lot of credit coupons. Or at least enough to skip work. <laughs> Seems you're getting into the swing of things around here. <laughs> impressive. Very impressive. So, now can you tell us about the hidden rules you know? Hmm, if that's what you want to know. I guess you couldn't have come at a better time. We just need another one to break. We've already broken two of them. Huh? What do you mean it's a good time? Leonid and those other pesky broke urchins have all gone to work in the production zone. I wouldn't want them listening in without paying up. We get it! Just tell us already! So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Even if you manage to avoid the guards, you might find something even more terrible there. Something even more terrible? Like what? A group of cannibals. Uh, huh. Cannibals? In the Fortress of Meripede? Every month, they meet a few times in the dead of night. Rumor has it they might be connected to the people that have disappeared here. Alright. But... What's even scarier is that they have a special proclivity. The cannibalism isn't special enough? Since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains, they have ways to transform them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. Oh, like strange meat and strange liquid? Uh, Paima might already know what you mean by other forms. So that's what's going on here. Oh, Paimon's stomach doesn't feel so good. <laughs> you two look pretty skeptical. No matter. Learning the truth behind dark secrets isn't necessarily a good thing. I've got things to do, too. I suggest you just act like I never told you anything. You're only gonna tell me one rule? Traveler, can we just trust him on this one? Oh, Paimon blood and flesh entombed here for all eternity? Yeah. They don't stand a chance. Oh! So that's how you see the situation. Huh. You know, Paimon does feel a little better about it now. Let's do it. Oh, when will all the secrets end? Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. There's, There's been a lot of investigation kind of wanted to end. I want something interesting to happen already. Hmm. Vidak isn't here. But the guys who went to work in the morning are back. Let's go ask them! 
Just stay away from me. All right. What? What are you saying? You shouldn't go around saying stuff like that. Ben? What are you talking about? Listen, you should keep your nose out of other people's business. All right. Got nothing? Hmm. Their attitude sure is suspicious. Like they're trying to avoid us. Could they be the cannibals? But if they're being so obvious about acting weirdly, do you think they might just be trying to lure us in? Oh, this is all getting way too creepy for Paimon. So you mean we still need to investigate some more? Okay, if you say so. What do you want? Criminals like you ought to be working right now. Catch my drift. We just want to ask you a simple question. Have you ever discovered anything odd during your nighttime patrols? Why are you asking about something like that? Whatever happens at night isn't your concern. All you need to worry about is getting enough sleep. Uh... Well... Right! We've heard it happens a few times every month. Paimon has sensitive ears, so it makes it hard to sleep. Really? I see. Uh, but it's not like I'm on duty every night. And now that you mention it, I recall my colleagues talking about something like that before. They say that strange things tend to happen at night on pipe cleaning days. Lots of us don't willingly take those shifts. So, what happens at night on pipe cleaning days? And they just conduct regular cleaning of the fortress's drainage facilities. There are three pipe cleaning days per month, and it just so happens that today is one of the scheduled days. You can try to confirm the sounds tonight if you want, and if they're real, then I can report the issue to my superiors for you. Oh, okay. Then we'll keep both ears out tonight. If that's all, then I'll be leaving now. I advise you not to try anything funny, though. Even if I'm not on duty tonight, someone will still be watching you. Don't worry, we don't want any time added to our sentences. <laughs> Or maybe we do. Oh, he left. So what do you think about the pipe cleaning days he mentioned? Right, both are a possibility. But Fielding did say that tonight is a cleaning night. Paimon knew you would say that. Alright, sounds like we'll be up all night tonight then. Paimon just hopes the guards don't catch us. Interesting. Oh, we're getting another child flashback. No, those three. We haven't seen that area yet. Paimon? Well, what did you see this time? Really? 
So we're finally starting to figure out what actually happened! But what about the cannibals? How okay, well, it's about time for us to get moving. Just be careful to avoid the patrolling guards. Stealth time. What? How? We can climb, right? I was just climb and glide then. Calculated. And there's nobody up here. <laughs> this is just the exit. This should be the place. Could have escaped a long time ago. What? I know you. You were the ones we saw. Huh. You've got guts showing up here. You know who we are, right? The cannibals? You'd better leave now. Ain't nobody coming here to save you. what you say? Yeah, so what if they were? If you push us, we can make those rumors a reality at any time. Hey, what's the point of all those rumors anyway? What exactly are you trying to do? I don't have to tell you anything. If you turn around, go back to the dormitories, and act like you never saw anything, then I'll pretend that you never showed up here. I guess you guys don't know my reputation, huh? Yeah, scram. Nothing worth seeing here. Huh? What did you say? Isn't that exactly what Boss said when he left? Hey, do you know our boss? Whoa. We had no idea our boss was such a big deal. He always kept his identity a secret. So, did he have you come here to find us? Oh, so your child's crew here? Seems like he had no problem fitting in. We're the only ones who heard him say those words when he left that night. So, unless he somehow told you those exact same words after that... Hmm. All right. I guess that's proof enough for me. I believe you. Dreams of yours sure come in handy. Always have. We gave him the business for a while and would always give him a hard time when he first came to the fortress of Maripede. But here in the fortress, the strong will always earn respect. He was working the longest hours and racking up wins in the Pancration Ring. What? How come he was allowed to fight? And I'm not. You could always see how amazing he was, even when he was teaching us a lesson. So eventually, we all decided to follow him. Why was he allowed to fight and I wasn't? But one day, he suddenly told us that he had to find a way to escape this place, no matter the cost. He said it was because he heard that call again. And as his crew, if the boss wants something, then it's our job to get it done. So, 
we got to work and used the hidden rules that were here to make up and spread the rumor about the cannibal rule. We just wanted to give him a better chance of escaping on a night after the pipes had been cleaned. Oh, thanks to your rumor, nobody would want to come anywhere near here, prisoner or guard. Wow, it sure is easy to exploit people's fear of the unknown. But has a child already escaped? Why are you all still coming here after pipe cleaning day? Because as far as we know, the pipe he went into isn't actually an exit. It should be a dead end. It leads to an abandoned factory area, and even if there were a way to escape from there into the sea, we're still way too deep. No one could ever reach the surface alive. But Boss still insisted on going in. It's like he was obsessed about it. But can't the people of Fontaine breathe underwater anyway? So we told him that we'd pretend as if he never existed while he was gone, and that if he wanted to come back, oh, he should he was wait the for guy. nighttime on a pipe cleaning day. That way, we could meet him here and help cover the whole thing up. He was also the guy fighting in the arena. All right, that makes sense. So you come and wait here through the night a few times a month just because of that promise? Yeah, but it's been so long now. We already know in our hearts that he must have managed to escape somehow. Uh, is it also possible that something unfortunate happened to him? Nothing could ever defeat Boss or slow him down. It's one thing we know for sure. Okay, okay. Paimon was just brainstorming possibilities. All right. Keep quiet and follow us. Well, things are finally getting... Well, moving. The way up from here has been sealed off. It's impossible to get through. Boss left by going down from here. It uh, wasn't full of water at the time. Later, we came back hoping to have a look. That's when we found out it had been completely flooded. It's impossible to navigate unless you're an extremely skilled diver. Do you think Child got trapped by the water? Not likely. We all know that Boss was an incredible swimmer. Really? Then have him come investigate, pronto. Just be sure to tell us if you get any news about Boss. It's getting late. We should leave before the guards come this way. Yeah, we learned a lot about what happened to Child here. Let's get going! Oh, I didn't get to loot the stuff. <sighs> we finally learned some key information. When you said you knew a diver, you were talking about Fremine, right? If we ask Linny, he'll definitely have Fremine help. Ugh. Why is Child like this? What was he doing going into the pipes? Not making our jobs easier, that's for sure. Fortunately, though, it seems like it's only a matter of time now before we find out what really happened. Now that we can finally relax, I'm on starting to feel super sleepy. <sighs> Let's try to get some rest while we still can. Nighty night, Traveler! Uh. Uh. Uh, it's morning already. Oh, my mind still needs Playing more hard. sleep. Huh? Wait, look over there. Isn't that? It's one of Linny's cards. Let Paimon see what's written on it. Maybe you haven't heard, but today is the monthly free day. Everyone has the day off today, which makes it the perfect time to do some investigating. Everyone. It's been a while since we last talked. Have you been making any progress lately? Let's meet at our usual spot in the factory area before lunchtime. Ooh, today's our lucky day. We have the day off. From the sound of it, Lenny's been making progress with his investigation. Wonder what he's discovered. Hmm. We still have some time before we meet up. Let's talk with the people here for a bit more before we go. I was hoping to get this part finished today. Um. Huh. I guess that's good enough for now. It was longer than I thought, though. Um. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of this so far. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.